yeah i still have an iron fiction and i still can't do regular makeup looks because i don't really think i should be putting anything near my eyes so that's great love that but yeah this is the video for today then i just want to share how i do my makeup when i have an iron fiction if you're watching this and you have an iron fiction then i hope it can help you somehow and if not i just hope you enjoyed the video i didn't know we were in the information society I'm just gonna start out by applying some concealer for my under eyes and I'm just gonna be careful not to actually touch like the waterline or anything but also as soon as you get like a little bit closer to your waterline you probably shouldn't put your finger back into the container Once I have my concealer down, I'm just gonna go directly into foundation. I'm not gonna apply this to my entire face, I'm just gonna focus it like in the center. Um, obviously, apply it to your whole face if you want to and if you have time, but I can't really be bothered. Um, just because I do this before I go to work and um, yeah, I don't have an explanation. That's just my preference. It's just like an excuse for being lazy, I guess. And yeah, I already have my brows on just because that's boring to watch and um, it really has nothing to do with me having an eye infection. Once that's somewhat blended in with my fingers, I'm just gonna go in with a damp sponge and um, blend it out a little bit more. So there's not like any harsh lines like where the foundation stops. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more to my cheeks just because um, now that I can't do any makeup on my eyelids I just want my base to be pretty good so that's why I'm putting on foundation. I don't normally wear that every day. Oh and every product that I use will be linked down in the description. And if I sound kind of tired it's because it's almost 10.30 in the night in the evening so I am tired. And once that's down, I like to go in with some powder just to set it and I try not to go too close to my eyes. I mean, I would rather have the concealer crease a little bit than um, getting too much bacteria on my sponge from um, the infection. And yeah, I'm just focusing this in the center of my face as well. And now that the base is done, I'm gonna go into my bronzer and um, I'm just gonna go ham. Actually, some days I've been contouring my cheeks as well just to make them look extra good now that my eyes are not at that, not at their best. And just a little bit down my neck as well. Then I like to go in with a second bronzer, which is actually a highlighter, but it's just way too dark for me. And it's this Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. And I like this because it gives like a nice transition between the highlighter and the bronzer. It does, however, kind of get stuck in my baby hairs here, but whatever. I noticed it in my previous video where I like shaved the peach fuzz off my face. Um, that <laughs> this part is just orange but whatever you know <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm overexposed but because I want my skin to look its best now that my eyes are so irritated and naked I am gonna apply some highlighter as well oh that's a lot And I'm using the Maybelline Master Stropping Liquid. And I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone as well. Brow bones, actually. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I don't know if any of this is safe to apply it to your face when you have an eye infection. The only video I could find said that you shouldn't use mascara, which I think is quite obvious. 
on but it didn't really say anything about eyeshadows or anything but I guess you can easily transfer bacteria from your eyes to your eyeshadows or anything like that so I wouldn't recommend using that but yeah since I couldn't find any videos on it I thought well then I'm gonna do one like make the best of a bad situation I guess but according to my doctor um, the eye infection should be over in a week and I got it this Friday so like on Saturday I can do regular makeup again so mm, yeah I'll probably do a Christmas look or I just watch a video of Glam and Gore doing her makeup according to her horoscope and I quite like astrology so that might be an idea as well. The last step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some lipstick just to take the focus away from my eyes. Obviously a very bold lip would take even more focus off of your eyes but since this is something I do for an everyday look, I don't really wear both lips on an everyday basis, so I'm using this color. It's a L'Oreal lipstick, it's in the shade Velvet Rose. I like this lipstick because it's quite close to my natural lip color, but you know, it's just a little bit more dark. And as the very last step, I'm gonna set my eyebrows. I feel like if you are going out or something and you just can't live without having some lashes then you could like apply some old lashes um, that you're gonna throw out afterwards so that you don't carry on that bacteria. I am going out on Friday and I might do that um, but since this is an everyday look and I don't wear mascara on an everyday basis I'm not gonna do it in this look either but I will say I do miss applying something to my eyelids um, because it looks kind of weird now. If you watch Kaushal, I'm not sure if I'm seeing her name right. Kaushal Beauty? Kaushal Beauty. If you watch her videos, uh, then you'll see that sometimes for an everyday look she doesn't apply anything to her lids because when they are kind of dark it kind of looks like you're wearing eyeshadow. So yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm very off in this video. Hate that. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. Um, Nothing groundbreaking here, but what I went for is when my eyes are fucked up to be honest I just want my base to be nice and smooth and glowy you know and I want my skin to look more bronzed and not as pale so it's kind of similar to my everyday makeup obviously but it's just a little bit more glam like I don't usually use foundation every day and I don't use highlighter or lipstick I think those three things combined just helps take focus away from your eyes especially if your eyes are red like I'm lucky that my eyes are just they look kind of watery but I know some people when they have an eye infection their eyes are completely red and yeah it looks really painful but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope to see you in my next one where I will actually be able to do an eyeshadow look finally I know I'm excited for that maybe you are too maybe you aren't that's okay yeah let's just end this video here so goodbye <laughs> That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society.